Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our sister Trina got the chance to sit and interview Sterling K. Brown, and we're all very jealous. Well, you know, <laughs> there is no need to be jealous, guys. I mean, I recently caught up with Sterling and his young castmates, uh, Kelvin Harrison and Taylor Russell, to chat about their new movie, Waves. Take a look at it. We can go right now. We can go? Well, we can go right now. That's what's up. You think you can take the old man? Come on. What's up? Let's talk about the title itself. It's called Waves. And as we know, water is just a conduit of emotions for the human, whether it's washing away toxicity or just even being th that pillar of strength. Tell us how the name even um, is a catalyst for the backdrop of the movie. I think it's going to resonate differently with different people. Uh, when I've heard Trey talk about it, our director, he talks about how life sort of comes at you in waves, right? Mm -hmm. It washes in with something and then it brings it out. And uh, a lot of people make mention of our hair, like we try to keep it tight. That <laughs> wasn't what we were going for per se, but I can see how they make that extrapolation. What about you guys in the title? Um, well, yeah, I think Trey, really what you said, I don't know if I would have extra to add to that it's just the ups and downs of life yeah. and um, just acknowledging that I'm trying to give you the tools to succeed in this world it's not easy out there everything I do is for you everything Kelvin as a young man in and of itself you're trying to find yourself mm -hmm. and yet you have this dad that you're still trying to please while you're trying to find your own way does that in any way resonate in how you are and how you how you just live your life as a young man. Here we go. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's even now it's just still a lot of navigating my relationship with my, my real dad and, mm -hmm. and trying to understand, you know, where he came from and how he was up raised and you know how he sees the world and the sacrifices that he made and just just seeing him not just as the as my father but as as a young man himself even though he's, he's an old man, but he's still a young man, he would like to say. But you know, we, we share a lot of similarities. We're growing up, we're growing up black, and we're trying to survive and do the best for ourselves and, and make up for all the, the lost opportunities that you know, we weren't given originally. So um, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of healing and growth. It's been hard, hasn't it? Let go of a prayer for you. How you doing with everything? I'm good. Just a sweet word. You know, it's okay if you're not. So Taylor, as you, as Emily, you know, you look up to your brother, but yet you turn to Luke as a pillar of strength for yourself, but you, by yourself, you are this person with a quiet strength. Mm -hmm. So how do you draw from that personally? What I find really interesting in this girl is that in her quiet strength, I think she holds the place for a lot of men in her life. I think that she gives Luke a lot of strength, um, and her brother, and her dad, and um, and I think that that's indicative of a lot of women I know in my life who who aren't necessarily like at the forefront and saying I'm doing all these things, I'm really strong, and yet quietly they they are doing all that stuff that we see. I mean that's. That's something that has is is historical for females, and um, and I love that you see that in in this movie, and I, I I think it's beautiful that you know she meets this boy and he brings her joy, but she ultimately is impetus for healing for him, um, and I you know there's a lot of things I think we all can draw on in our personal lives for these for these characters, but definitely a lot of women that I look up to. Um, are are quite similar to Emily, so I think I've I've been lucky in that. Lord knows I've held on to way too much hate in my life. But all we have is now. Hey, Sterling, your role as uh, Robin in this movie, you have to kind of deal with um, your fragility and still having to have this innate sense of strength, not just for your children, but for yourself. Yeah. And you are in real life a dad. So do you ever see the real life of you segueing into this film and how you treat them as the, the, the children of, the, of this movie? So you're always playing a character, but I feel like you're always infusing yourself into that character. So every character that I play is me. It's just different aspects of my personality that I choose to bring out. I, I, have, I don't know if I could have done this role the same way 
without children, mm -hmm. as now being the parent of, of two boys, right? And having those fears that you have for young black boys going out into the world, wanting them to come home in one piece, mm -hmm. in one piece safe and sound. Um, so everything bleeds. Everything bleeds, like conversations that I have with my children inform the way in which I talk to my son in this movie, and, and vice versa, for that fact. Oh, well, I'm a parent too, I have two, I have two young boys, yes. and thank God we've never uh, experienced loss. Right. But any of you, yes, so any of you, what would you have to say to that person watching this movie and someone who can relate to your character, what would you have to tell them about sense of loss? Oh gosh, I mean, a, whatever way you choose to heal is, is okay. There's no, there's no um, rule book and there's, there's no right way to do it. And, and you don't have to be graceful in, mm -hmm. in your mm -hmm. healing. You can, be, um, y you can be so messy and, and, um, and hopefully surround yourself with people who um, are helping pull you towards the light. I'm the one who's trying to hold this family together. You pushed him! I'll shout out uh, our co-star, Renee Elise Goldsberry, who plays the mom in this family. Yeah. And you get a chance to see a father and, uh, and a mother go through grief dif differently, right? And that's okay. Time heals all wounds. You look for the light at the end of the tunnel. You look for that thing that makes you want to get out of bed and keep living your best life. There's something out there worth living for. The tragedy doesn't define you. Mm -hmm. You get to choose what defines you. Oh, I just appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here and answering my questions. Thank you for the jumper. It, it gives you all the way life, right? Hey, all the way life. <laughs> One day, you're gonna give me a movie where I'm not crying all the time. You're gonna make me laugh, okay? I got all you. Right. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not rude. It doesn't boast. Love also forgets wrong. I will always love you. How I do. Wow, that looks so oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be an amazing movie, you guys. Yes. And it was it's really weird because when, when I said to them before, I said, you know, we've never experienced loss. Of course we lost Gabe, but I've never lost my mom. Mm -hmm. Eric and Kim, they never lost their mom, or they've never even lost their grandparents. Mm -hmm. So it's really difficult for even these young actors and these young characters to have to draw from themselves yeah, wow. to pull out an experience they've never had mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to develop that into such a character. It's just, oh, I yes. can't wait, guys. Yes. Be good. Waves opens in theaters November 21st, so make sure you check it out. And of course, the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social platforms. Yay. Great job, Trini. Oh, amazing. Yes. Let me tell you, riveting. Yes. You